Prince Harry's actions honor his late grandmother at the Well Child Awards on the Queen's death anniversary. Prince Harry paid a special tribute to his late grandmother, Queen Elizabeth, on the eve of the first anniversary of her death. On Thursday night, the Duke of Sussex attended Well Child's annual charity awards ceremony, gave a speech and reflected on the day of her death, September 8, 2022. At the time of Queen Elizabeth's death last year, Prince Harry was due to attend the 2022 ceremony. But it emerged that doctors were concerned about the late monarch's health, leaving the rest of the royal family to attend the ceremony at Balmoral. I cancelled my attendance to join the members. Last night the Duke said, as you know, I wasn't able to attend the awards ceremony last year because my grandmother passed away. As you probably know, she would have insisted that I come anyway at her place. Stay with all of you instead of going to. And that's exactly why tonight, exactly one year later, I know she's looking down on all of us. And we're all delighted to continue shining a spotlight on such an amazing community. The reason is. The royal family continues its memorial service, asking members of the public to take pictures of Prince Harry. And Duchess Meghan paying their respects to their late grandmother at St. George's Chapel in Windsor, where they married in 2018. There is. Harry will next head to Dusseldorf for this year's Invictus Games, which start tomorrow. It has not been confirmed whether she will meet other family members during her visit to the UK, but Meghan is expected to be in Germany. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex arrived in the UK on September 5, 2022. They had a busy trip ahead of them. Attending the One Young World Summit in Manchester before flying to Dusseldorf for the Invictus Games celebrations. Soon after, they returned to London for the Well Child Awards on 8 September 2022. Harry receives news that the Queen is unwell. According to Prince Harry's shocking memoir, Spare, published in January, Harry and Meghan went to their former home in England, Frogmore Cottage, when they received news that his grandmother was very unwell. It is said that there was. Harry remembers being told. That day, September 8, 2022, around noon, I got a call. Unknown. Hello? It was Pa, King Charles. Grandma's health deteriorated. Of course she was at Balmoral. Harry runs to Balmoral. Elizabeth's children and her grandchildren rushed to her side upon hearing that her late monarch was in a worrying condition. Prince Charles, then Prince of Wales and Duchess of Cornwall, Camilla and Princess Anne were already in Scotland at the time and were the first senior members of the royal family to arrive at Balmoral. Prince William arrived at Aberdeen Airport at around 4 p.m. with the Duke and Duchess of York and the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, who were then Earl and Countess of Wessex, and headed to Balmoral, arriving at around 5 p.m. The Duke told Spare newspaper that he contacted his brother immediately after receiving Prince Charles's call to ask about his and Duchess Kate's plans for a trip to Scotland, but there was no response. Prince Harry arrived at his Scottish residence at 7.52 p.m., nearly an hour and a half after Buckingham Palace announced the Queen's death at 6.30 p.m. He arrived at the airport by chartering a private jet from London's Luton Airport. He wrote that he first learned on the BBC website that his grandmother had died as the plane was nearing landing. Duchess Meghan stays at Frogmore Cottage. When the Queen died, Meghan did not go to Balmoral with Harry, instead staying at Frogmore Cottage. Prince Harry claimed in his memoir that he received another call from her father asking him not to take Meghan to Balmoral. He started giving his reasons, which were nonsense and disrespectful, but I didn't have any of those reasons. Mr. Harry said. Don't ever talk about my wife like that. Please, he wrote. He stammered apologetically and said he just didn't want to be around many people. No other women would come. Kate wouldn't come. So Meg shouldn't come either, he said. Told. Harry arrives at Balmoral. A photo published in the Daily Mail shows Prince Harry being driven from the airport to Balmoral in a black car. The Duke said that when he arrived, Charles, Camilla and William had all left Balmoral for dinner at Burkhall, the royal residence on the grounds. He said he was greeted by Princess Anne and told that Prince Charles and Prince William had already left and had instead spent the night with Princess Anne, Prince Andrew and Prince Edward. Harry recalled that Anne asked him if he wanted to meet her grandmother, and that she led him to the Queen's bedroom. I got ready and went inside, he wrote. The room was dark and strange. 
I had only been in that room once in my life. I wandered in, and there she was. I stood there, frozen, staring. I stared and stared. It was hard, but I kept thinking about how much I regret never seeing my mom one last time. I spent years complaining about the lack of evidence and postponing my grief because of the lack of evidence. Now I thought, this is proof. Be careful what you wish for. Aftermath of the Queen's death. The next day, Harry returned to Frogmore Cottage on a plane from Aberdeen to London. He recalled how his fellow passengers expressed their heartfelt sympathy and stopped to say kind words during his short flight. He and Meghan later extended their visit to the UK to attend the Queen's National Memorial Service. The couple attended Elizabeth's state funeral at Westminster Abbey on September 